Jessie here. I'm back with another video. Welcome to my makeup breakup series. This video is going to be the first in what I hope to be a long series of videos where I go through my stash of makeup and pare down, get rid of things I'm not using or not in love with, and hopefully at the end of this I will have a much smaller, more manageable makeup collection full of things that I truly use and love. So today I'm going to be going through my foundations, powders, concealers, and a few other little odds and ends that are in the top drawer of my makeup storage. I store my makeup in a Ikea Helmer unit. I will link my most recent makeup collection down below so you can kind of see what I've got now. Um, it's grown a little bit since then, but I didn't want to do a whole before tour because I felt like this was going to be a long enough series as, on its own. Um, so you can get an idea of what my makeup stash looks like before if you check out that video. And then at the end of this, I will do a whole new makeup collection, hopefully showing a much smaller, more manageable collection. So I'm going to be going through my drawer of face products today. You can see it's pretty full. Um, so let's just go ahead and get into it. So you guys are looking at my foundation drawer and the camera setup is a little precarious. So hopefully I don't bump the camera too much while I'm trying to film this. But I wanted you guys to really kind of see what I'm seeing while I'm going through my drawer. Um, I've got quite a few foundations in here, some primers, um, BB creams and tinted moisturizers all of my concealers, my powders, and then just a little bit of a random drawer here with just a few odds and ends. So I'm going to start out by going through my concealers here. I've got quite a few and I honestly do not use very many of these. So I'm going to go through, get rid of anything that's not a really good color match that um, I just don't use because I don't like the texture or the formula or anything that's expired because I have had quite a few of these things for probably a lot longer than I should have had. So I'm going to try to really pare down these concealers. Starting out with this um, Revlon Age Defying Concealer. I was never really a big fan of this. I didn't give it much of a chance though. So I'm going to hold on to this and try it a couple more times. But if it's not something that I really love, I'm going to uh, get rid of that. But I just don't feel like I've really given it a fair chance. So I can't really say for sure whether I love it or hate it. So I'm going to do that. Next up, I have a couple of my favorite concealers. These are the Maybelline Fit Me concealers. I've got one that's just about done and then another one here that is brand new that has not even been cracked yet. Obviously, these are my favorites, so I'm going to be holding on to those. I've got a Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser. This is the Dark Spot Concealer. I'm going to get rid of this. I used it quite a bit, actually, but this is a bit yellow, and I know that it's meant to be that way to kind of um, correct the dark spots, but I find that it just does not look natural on my skin, and it doesn't really do a great job of covering my dark spots, nor have I seen any sort of treatment effects. So that is going in the discard pile. This is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circles Concealer, and this one I'm definitely going to hold on to. This is the one in Fair. I get a lot of use out of this. I find it does a really nice job of covering up my dark circles. It's nice and light um, and does not cake up underneath my eyes, and I don't find that it creases a ton, so I'm going to hold on to that. This is an e.l.f. Um, concealer of some sort from the Essential line. The writing has worn off, so I can't even tell you for sure what the um, name of this one is, but if I think about it, I will uh, look it up and put it somewhere here on the screen. This is in light beige, and I remember really, really liking this. You can see that I've used up quite a bit of it, but this is almost empty, and it's definitely past its expiration date, so I'm going to be tossing that in the trash. So that is going to go. Next up, I have my L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Crayon Concealer. This is almost used up. Um, I talked about this in my most recent favorites video. I've been really making an effort to um, use up some of these things that I liked but just don't want to hold on to anymore, and that is an example of that. So I'm going to be holding on to this, but obviously this will be used up relatively quickly, and then that will be going in the trash. I feel like I'm keeping a lot more than I'm getting rid of. Oh, I had a feeling this was going to be a problem. So, 
Next up, I have the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. This is the Eraser Dark Circles as well, but this is in the brightening shade. Um, I really don't like this. I find that it just does not look natural under my eyes. I know a lot of people really rave about this, um, but I just have never been able to make it work for me. You can see how much I've tried to make it work, and um, it's just not for me, so I'm going to be getting rid of that. Next, I have got an e.l.f. cover, I think this is the Cover Everything Concealer. Um, again, the writing is worn off. One of the things I don't like about this e.l.f. packaging is that that does that, but um, I really do not like this concealer at all. It's very um, cakey and dry, and I find that once you get it on your face, it doesn't really cover everything at all, so I'm going to be getting rid of that. I've got the Boo Boo Cover Up Concealer here. I just recently got this in an Ipsy bag, and I have not even tried it yet. So I'm going to uh, hold on to this for a little while, but if I find that I don't use it, it will be going in the garbage. Next up, I have the e.l.f. Maximum Coverage Concealer. This is oil-free. I actually really, really like this concealer. Um, I have not pulled it out in quite a while because I've got so many other concealers, but I remember really, really liking this, so I'm going to hold on to this and give it another try. This is the Rimmel London Match Perfection Concealer. This is in the shade Fair Light. Um, the concealer portion of this I really, really like, but I'm not a big, huge fan of this applicator. I did just recently pick this up, so this is going to be another one of those things that I hold on to it to give it a bit more of a try. This is the e.l.f. HD Lifting Concealer. This is from the Studio line. This is another one of those things that I just recently picked up and haven't really decided how I feel about it. So again, it's something that I'm going to be holding on to. I feel like I'm saying that a lot. Um, you guys will have to forgive me. It's definitely going to be a long process trying to decide whether I'm going to be keeping things. Um, you know, it's, it's hard to let go, especially when you put so much money into a makeup collection. But this is one of those things I'm going to hold on to for now, and I will update you guys later. This is the NYC Cover Stick. I remember mentioning this in a favorites video a while back. Um, I really don't like this. I don't know why um, I favorited it, because, I, I, you know, maybe opinions just change, but I really don't like this. I find this very dry and cakey, so this is going to go um, in my discard pile. This is the Urban Decay 24-7 Concealer Pencil. This is in the shade CIA. You can see I've used quite a bit of this. I really, really like this concealer. I have not reached for it in forever, but... Um, it doesn't seem like, like it's expired. It doesn't have a funny smell or anything, so I'm definitely going to hold on to this and start using this again because I remember really liking this. This is the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Full Coverage Anti-Aging Waterproof Concealer. I love this. I got this in an Ipsy bag, and this is one of my favorite under eye concealers I've ever tried, so I'm definitely holding on to that. Along the same lines is the Hard Candy Glamouflage Heavy Duty Concealer. I feel like this is very similar to that IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye and that it's very full coverage. A little bit difficult to work with, but very, very beautiful, so I'm definitely holding on to that as well. One that I'm going to pass on, however, is the little Hard Candy um, Pencil Concealer that came with that. I don't like this at all. Um, I don't find it useful, uh, so I'm going to pass that along. <clears throat> Got another little thing from e.l.f. here. This, I believe, is the e.l.f. Cover Stick. This is in the shade Ivory. I actually really, really like this. Um, it's another one of those things that I haven't used in forever and that is probably past um, its life, but it doesn't have a funny smell or anything, so I'm going to hold on to that as well. And then here in my drawer, which is not in the right place, is the e.l.f. Zip Zapper. Um, definitely holding on to that. So there we go. There's the concealers done. Now I'm going to move on to some of my foundations, BB creams, um, face primers, that sort of thing. This here is the Rimmel Match Perfection Foundation. I love this. I just recently got this, and it's one of my favorites, so I'm definitely holding on to that. Uh, another one of my absolute favorites, the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous. Definitely holding on to that as well. Um, this is 
is the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous. Now I gave this a pretty bad review, mostly because it oxidizes too dark for me. Um, but it's not a terrible foundation, so I'm going to hold on to it and actually try to mix it with this um, L'Oreal True Match, which I like but is way too light for me. So I'm going to try to mix these two and see if I can't get something wearable. Um, if I can't, then both of these are going to go to new homes, but um, if I can make it work, I'll hold on to them. So that's another one of those kind of maybe things. This is the Hard Candy Glamouflage Foundation. This is definitely going in my discard pile. I really wanted to love this, but it was terrible, and I did a whole review on this if you're interested. I'll link it down below, as well as any reviews that I've done on any of these products. Um, but this is just awful, and this is definitely going. This is the e.l.f. Flawless Finish Foundation. This is another thing that I'm going to let go of. This, I actually really, really like the foundation itself, but the color match is wrong, and I've had this in my collection forever, so it's definitely expired, so I'm going to say goodbye to this as well. This is the, what is this, IPKN New York BB Cream. I got this in an Ipsy bag, and I really do not like this at all, um, so I'm going to say goodbye to that as well. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. I really, really love this foundation, so obviously I'm not going to be getting rid of that. That's one of my all-time favorites. This is the Yabby, what is this called? Natural Finish Foundation. I got this in an Ipsy bag as well. Um, I've tried it a few times, and I like it well enough, but it's really not my favorite, and I've got plenty of other foundations here to get through, so I'm going to go ahead and pass this along to someone. The NYC Smooth Skin Liquid Makeup. I love this. This is one of my all-time favorite foundations as well. It's almost gone, and it's probably pretty close to its expiration date, if not past that. It doesn't have a weird smell or anything, so I'm going to um, use this up pretty quickly so that I can... Um, you know, get my full use out of this, but I really, really do love this foundation. <clears throat> I've got the e.l.f. BB Cream here. I really, really love this. I love the way it looks on my skin. I think, though, that it's breaking me out. I'm not 100% sure about that, but I've used it a few different times, and while I've loved it, I've always seemed to get breakouts. So I'm going to hold on to it for now and give it another try, but if I figure out that this is definitely what's breaking me out, unfortunately I'm going to have to let go of this, um, which will be a shame because I really, really do love this product. This is the e.l.f. Mineral Infused Face Primer. You guys, I have dry skin. I really do not need face primers. I always buy them. Um, and I just, I don't ever use them because I don't need them. So I'm going to get rid of this as well as the e.l.f. Oops. Um, the, what is this one? The Mineral Infused Face Primer. This is the Tone Adjusting Green one. Um, I just, I don't ever use them. And they're just taking up space in my drawer. So I'm going to get rid of those. This is the Olay of Fresh Effects BB Cream. I love this. It's got a nice, um... SPF 15. It's a beautiful tinted moisturizer. Uh, very light, perfect for the summertime, so there's no way I'm getting rid of that. So this is the Rimmel London Fix and Perfect Pro Primer. I've used almost all of this. I actually really do like this product. I know I just said that I don't really use face primers, but this is one that I find really does a nice job of kind of smoothing out um, my skin before foundation. So while I generally don't use face primers, I do use this one. Um, there's not a ton left in here. There's probably only two or three uses, so I'm going to go ahead and keep this until it's gone. And then I probably won't repurchase, because while I do like it, I don't really need a face primer, like I said. So, um, I mentioned in it, this in a favorites video and talked about definitely repurchasing it, but I think that I've just kind of changed my mind about face primers. I really don't find that with my dry skin that I need them. This is the Pacifica A Light BB Cream. I got this in an Ipsy bag. I hate this. I should have just thrown it away the first time I ever used it. It looks weird on my skin. It's not a good color match for me, and I don't like the texture, so I'm going to say goodbye to that. This is the Mirabella Prime um, 
for face and eyes. I've used this a couple of times, but again, I don't really find that I need a face primer, especially these kind of silicone-y feeling ones, so I'm going to say goodbye to this. <clears throat> This is the Maybelline Dream Fresh BB Cream. Um, I really like this a lot. It's just a really, really super sheer tint. Um, it's good for the SPF for my face for the summertime. So I'm going to hold on to it, but I probably won't repurchase this. I definitely like the Olay Fresh Effects one better. This is the Pixi Flawless Beauty Primer. Um, I really, really like this one because this is very, very um, illuminating. So I don't really use this in terms of keeping my foundation on my face or making it last, but I do use this um, if I'm using an especially mattifying foundation. I just find that it gives me a nice balance. This is kind of super illuminating if you're not careful, but I do find that I really, really like this, so I am going to hold on to this. I've got the Too Faced Primed and Poreless. I'm going to hold on to this as well because I do find that this really does drink my pores. Um, really like that. This is the Pixi Flawless and Poreless. This is very, very similar in my opinion to the Too Faced one. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and pass on this. I'll keep the Too Faced one. It's much smaller. And like I said, my occasion for wearing um, face primer is very, very um, few and far between, so I don't need to keep a ton of them, and this is just, again, very similar to something else, and I just don't need that many face primers. This is the Benefit Professional. Again, I really, really like this. Um, I really don't find the occasion though where I need a ton of face primers so I like the Too Faced one a little bit better so I'm going to keep that one and pass this along to someone else. These are the e.l.f. Hydrating Under Eye Primers. These I do love. I find that these do a really nice job of really moisturizing my under eye area. Um, it's very crinkly under there and I get a lot of under eye concealers that crease on me if I don't use something like this. So I really, really like these and I will be holding on to those. Okay, we're making some good progress. Sorry this is so long. Um, I've got my powders next. The e.l.f. Um, High Definition Under Eye Setting Powder, obviously, I'm going to hold on to. I love this stuff. You guys have heard me talk about these in many a um, favorites video. I have had this CoverGirl Fresh Complexion Pocket Powder for so many years that I cannot even remember when I got this. I really like this powder, um, especially in the summertime, but you guys, I mean, it's probably been at least six years, so I'm going to get rid of that. This is the NYC Smooth Skin Pressed Face Powder. This is one of my all-time favorite pressed powders. I find that this is a really beautiful. Um, it's very finely milled. You can see there. Very soft and super inexpensive. So I'm definitely holding on to this, and I highly recommend that if you guys are looking for an affordable drugstore face powder. Next up, I have my Rimmel Stay Matte. You guys know how much I love this. There's no way I'm letting go of this. It's just a great setting powder. Again, I don't really need it for the matte um, properties, but I just really like the way that it sets my concealer, so I'm holding on to that. As well as the e.l.f. Booster. I just recently got this, and I really like it. I'm not the biggest fan of loose powders, but this just is really, really pretty. It's great for setting my under eye concealer or just kind of all over powdering. This is in the shade Sheer, and I just really like it, so I'm holding on to that as well. Another one I'm going to let go of, this is the e.l.f. Clarifying Pressed Powder. I've had it forever, and I have not reached for it in probably at least two years, so it's time for that to go. And this e.l.f. Um, Mineral Foundation is going to go as well. This is very, very, very yellow. Um, I don't know why I bought the warm shade. I'm definitely not a warm skin tone. And this just looks crazy on my skin, so I'm passing that along as well. Uh, this is a little Glam RX um, mini palette. I got a Nipsey bag. It's empty. I never use it, so I'm going to pass that along. This is an eye cream that I picked up at my local Dollar Tree. I'm not really sure why this is in here, but uh, I love this, so there's no way I'm going to let go of that. Um, 
my e.l.f. eye refresh I also really love so definitely not going to get rid of that use that pretty much on a daily basis uh, what is this this is a um, an eye balm sample that I got I don't even know how long ago but I never use it so I'm going to get rid of that this is just a little mirror. I'm definitely going to hold on to that, but I'm going to find a new home for it because I really don't think it needs to be in my um, foundation drawer. What else do I have here? This is a Mitchell and Peach Fine Radiance Face Oil, another one of those things. I'm not really sure why this is in here. I got this in an Ipsy bag and honestly have not used it at all, so I'm going to hold on to it and give it a try before I make up my mind on whether I'm going to keep it or not. And the last thing in this drawer is just another one of those e.l.f. Zit Zappers, which I love, so I'm definitely going to hold on to that. And those are all of the things I'm going to be getting rid of. So you can see I definitely downsize things quite a bit. Um, yeah, I'm pretty satisfied with this uh, section of decluttering, and I'm definitely excited to go through the rest of my makeup collection. You know, some of these videos are going to be longer than others. Definitely the hardest thing for me to get rid of is going to be blushes. I'm definitely a blush hoarder. Um, so when we get to that, you may not see a ton of downsizing, but hopefully I can conquer my demons and get rid of some of this stuff. So there we have all of the products I'm going to keep back in their little drawer. I think that I managed to minimize a little bit, you know, not maybe as much as I should have, but I think it's a good first go around and um, I definitely kept a lot of things I really love and I'm going to pass along a lot of things that I really don't, so I'm pretty happy with this first um, section of my decluttering. Um, if you guys are enjoying this and you want to see me go through the rest of my makeup collection drawer by drawer and downsize my collection, give this video a thumbs up so that I know. Um, subscribe if you haven't done so already because I'd really love to have you back and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye everyone!